Hi, and welcome back to another review. Now in this review, I'm going to be taking a look at the Duke Audio A5 Mini Type D amplifier. Now it is quite small, it's well built. It's built, in fact, like a rock. And you can actually get in the top to change your op amps. Now I didn't actually think I was going to like this tiny little amplifier simply for the fact that it's got a weird second knob on the front which basically allows you to adjust a high pass filter. So basically you can maybe concentrate a little bit more your music on voice as opposed to the deep bass. So what does the Duke Audio A5 have to offer? Let's take a look. Well, the contents of the box are a little sparse, just a detailed instruction card, a warranty card, and then the amplifier itself with a 32 volt amp power supply. They will effectively give you 78 watts a channel uh, four ohms or 65 watts a channel eight. Now, if you're looking for the full 300 watts per channel, you're certainly going to need to invest in a suitable power supply. Now flip open the tempered glass panel at the top and you will have access to change the op amp should you desire. However, for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to stick with the standard NE5532s. A nice little feature of the A5 is that the coloured LED that emits light at the top can actually be changed from blue to green or to red or anything that's a combination of those. So actually on the front of the A5, we have an on off switch. There's no remote control for this. And we also have another dial, which will adjust the high pass filter between 30 and 200 Hertz, which allows you to refine the mid to high frequencies while minimizing the low frequency interference, which is actually perfect for bookshelf or passive speakers. On the rear of the amplifier, all we have is the RCA inputs to allow you to connect a music streamer, phone or laptop, etc. We have an auxiliary out for active speakers. And then we also have the speaker terminals that will also accept banana plugs. And finally, we've got the power adapter socket, which you may actually experience as I did some arcing if you try and connect with the power supply already on. Now the time I have been listening to the Duke Audio A5 has been on a combination of home built speakers with 3 inch, 4 inch and 6 inch full range Mark Audio drivers, which then themselves give a superb sound stage anyway. Now I've streamed the music directly to the A5 from a cheap Arillic S10 Plus streamer and I've also streamed through a Fozzy Orzio ZD3 preamp and DAC. And what I have found is that the A5 is an extremely competent little amplifier, which has a pretty neutral sound. It handles the bass well. It also handles the mids and trebles well, especially of the smaller speakers. So I am really quite impressed. Now listening to any kind of music is going to prove slightly difficult due to copyright restrictions. So I've got a short beat of piano music off of Upbeat, which I hope will give you some kind of idea on how the far A5 handles um, the music on the various three speakers that I've been playing it on.
Well, that was, certainly wasn't perfect, I'm afraid. I'm really sorry. However, I hope it gives you some small idea on actually how the A5 handles music. So there we have it. This is the Duke Audio A5. My initial thoughts were I wasn't going to like it. However, listening to it for quite a while, I have changed my mind. And when you think this whole unit is approximately $90, or it will be when it goes on sale at the start of March, I think you'll get bang for your buck. Now, if you can actually add in a small streamer, the sound quality is really quite good. You've got the TPA 3255 chip, so if you expand it on your power pack, you could obviously increase the power of the amplifier. It's apparently also got post filter feedback technology built in, or PFFB for short, which basically improves the sound quality by reducing the distortion and enhancing frequency response. And one thing that is going to appeal to a lot of people, I think, is the fact that it's so easy to get in and change your op amps. So the A5 is certainly different. It gives you the ability to change the high pass filter, which is unheard of in a small amplifier. However, my personal opinion is that it could be something very similar to having a bass and treble. The effects seem quite the same to me. But a little fun thing is being able to open it up, change your op amps if you want to, but also change the color of the light display coming out. And finally, I'd like to say if you are on a budget, if you add something like the Duke A5 and you team it up with something like the Arillic S10 Plus, for less than £150, you're going to have a really good little sound system. Once again, thanks very much for watching. I hope it's been informative for you. Would I buy the Duke Audio A5? Yes, if I was on a budget, I would certainly put it top of my consideration list. And I have in the description below put links to it so you can go and check it out yourself. Please don't be afraid to leave me some comments below. Please give me the thumbs up if you found this useful. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Now, welcome back to the channel. Now, in this short video, I'm going to be taking a look at this. This is the new backward facing A5 from Duke Audio. <laughs> Switch, one is your volume, and the other, well, that does something totally different, which you'll look at soon. The other thing you can look at here is the top will fold down, and you can get straight on in and adjust your op amps. No, you can't. You can get on straight on in and change your op amps. So So before we take a little bit So before we take another look, let's see what the what is it? TA5? A5, it's not even TA5, it's an A5. I do so unfortunately, certainly not perfect, but I do hope it gives you a little idea on how well the Duke Audio A5 handles different types of music. Well, not different types of music, because it was the same music.